friends, Stacy here with Stacy Stitches and Designs, and today I wanted to share a little video tutorial of a fun little scrap yarn project um, that I have been having fun with. Uh, I thought a video would be kind of the easiest way to demonstrate this because it's actually not even crochet. It's uh, just if you have scrap yarn, a hot glue gun, and scissors, you can do it. Um, and so. Um, I just wanted to share this project with you to make these fun little yarn frames to kind of brighten up a little area. I'm going to hang some of these in my craft room. Um, but any scrap yarn will work. Um, and all you really need is um, a frame to put it around, the hot glue gun, and scissors. So I have a few different types of frames here that I use. What I'm going to use for the demonstration is this wooden frame. Um, this one was a plastic frame. Uh, just basically, if you start with a frame like this, this is just a standard, really cheap frame you can get from anywhere, basically. Um, and if you just take out the um, backing and the glass, it's going to be ready to go. So that, that way you're able to wrap your yarn around it and it's completely, nothing's blocking you. So this is all you need. Um, or like I said, I'm going to do this one on this wood frame that I bought from Joann's. Um, and I, again, I just took the glass out. Um, and then I'm using my scrap yarn. Um, I have a whole bunch of this. Um, this is cotton yarn, which this one is as well. Um, but this one is the Lion Brand 24-7 cotton. Um, so it's got that nicer sheen to it. So I'm kind of excited to see how this works up. Um, but I have a whole bunch of different colors of it here and we're going to just kind of go along and uh, kind of see how this works up. So I'll give you the view of my table here. Um, see my pile of my scrap yarn. Scissors, frame, glue gun. So um, your frame may have a front and a back or it might just look the same on both sides. This one has a back and a front. Um, so I'm going to put the back side facing me and I'm going to choose my first color. Um, we'll start with this pretty blue. And so basically you're going to get the end of the strand. You're going to take your hot glue gun and put a little dab where you want to begin. Just, to, just enough to hold the yarn down. Um, it doesn't have to be a lot and it just needs to be in the starting place. We're not going to glue the whole way around just where you're starting. So push that down, let the yarn kind of get a hold of the, or the glue get a hold of the yarn. And then literally, we're just gonna wrap the yarn around the frame, nice and close together so there's no gaps. And you're just gonna keep wrapping it. And since we're only gluing at the beginning, if you kind of get some space in it in between or anything, you can just push it together so that it's nice and tight and wrap it around as many times as you want for the color. We'll do a few more here with this blue. And then when you finish with the first color, again, you're just going to put a dab of glue at the end to hold it in place. And then cut your yarn. And let it push down there. One thing I like about this um, wood frame is that it's thicker than these little plastic ones were. Um, so I got a little more room to work with. Um, so we've got the blue. 
and we'll move on to the next color. So now I'll move on to this white. And again, just put a little dab of glue right next to it so that there's no wood gap and just start going with the next one. There's really no wrong way to do this. Um, use as many different colors or as few colors as you want. Change as often as you like. Um, you could even, if you wanted to, um, you could like string beads on your yarn so that you have beads showing up in your work. Um, I think that'd be really cool, but unfortunately all the beads I had were super tiny, so I couldn't, they weren't, wouldn't work with this yarn. Um, but just keep wrapping it around, making sure it's tight. And I'll speed this video up so that you can just see it really fast. So now when we get to the corner, we're going to have to be a little more creative to get um, it all around the corner right. And so I kind of have been doing kind of a crisscross pattern like this. just to make sure the whole area is getting covered. It's going to take a little bit a little while here, but just go back and forth up and down. Okay, so obviously this corner is way more dramatic than it is here on my plastic frames that are much skinnier. You can barely really see anything going on there in that corner. Whereas this is going to be a lot more dramatic, but it looks kind of cool, I think. Um, if you wanted to make it so that this would actually stand out more, you could even go down this side before you start doing your corner. Like do all four sides and then do the corners at the end. Um, that might be a kind of a cool effect too, because now you can see like when I keep going here, I'm going to actually end up going over this side, which again is a cool effect too. So just whatever your preference is, because um, it'll be the same all the way around. So you just keep going. Um, you probably keep I don't know if you'll be able to see once I speed it up or not, um, but I did use a little more hot glue on this corner than I do over here. I just did it periodically throughout to kind of hold things in place so that I would keep this corner covered. You can see the back doesn't look nearly as nice either, but um, that extra glue there just kind of helped keep the front in place at least where everything needed to be.
Okay, so now it's done. You can see it's all finished. I kind of like how this one turned out with this yarn. Um, I think it's probably the best one yet um, since this Lion Brand 24-7 is it's just such a nice cotton anyways. Um, so I think it has a nice little look to it. Um, like I said, you can experiment with lots of different um, techniques or ideas. If you're more of a pattern person, you can be more mindful about the colors and um, the quantities you're using. I'm more random, so I just kind of go for it. But patterns could be really cool. Like I said, if you want to add beadwork or um, do all four sides first and then finish the corners so that the corners um, stand out a lot more, um, that'd be a cool way to do it too. Um, you can kind of compare the difference between these two yarns, I think. And then I also had a third one I did. Um, this one was not a cotton, this was Lion Brand ZZ Twist. I don't know if you can kind of see it on there. I wondered if like putting a um, protective coating or like a sealer on it was a good idea. It wasn't. Um, that's what happened to this one. I, I did a glossy um, clear spray sealer coat on it and it just kind of made the yarn frizzy. So I don't recommend that, but this was um, another one I did. And yeah, so now um, all that's left to do is to add um, the picture behind it. And so I have a couple pictures that I brought up. You won't want to use anything that um, you don't want to ruin or that you would want to take off and put somewhere else later because because we wrapped yarn around it, there really is no, it doesn't work like a regular frame where you can put the backing on and everything. So I'm actually gonna, um, you can maybe try stapling it. I think I'm just gonna kind of hot glue it and see how that goes. Um, so I'm gonna get my positioning how I want it here. This one is a four by six frame, but remember um, you'll want your image to be a little bit bigger than that. So you have room to actually glue it down. So I'm just gonna put a line of glue here. Press it down. Hope this works. And then do the same for the bottom. Just put a line of glue. And I just printed these off on my printer here at home. Oops. And uh, so they're nothing fancy. I probably on future ones will like send it to a nicer printer to print for a nicer print. But just for the example here, I just wanted to kind of show you. Again, just nothing that. Nothing that you wouldn't want to hot glue something. So. How's it look? There we go. So we got a cute little framed thing I can hang on my wall. We'll do the other one. So since this one is a lot thinner, I have my piece here and it does hang over a little bit so I think I'm gonna cut that after I glue it down so that it's the right so I don't cut it too far but hmm. so I'll put a line of glue here Kind of. 
see how this looks. kind of nice. Um, I'm going to trim this bottom and you can see my print, the blue didn't go down quite as far as I wanted it to, but it's not the end of the world. But I got the edge here trimmed off in it looks kind of nice I think we got the two little pieces I just made these little prints in Canva um, super easy and like I said I just printed them at home but um, I'll probably take them off and do a nicer print um, later and yeah these are just super fun little way to use up some scrap yarn you can see you saw how much I started with this is how much I have left so used up quite a Quite a good amount of yarn and um yeah what i hope you uh make some yourself and enjoy it and i can't wait to see um your yarn frames too and hope they brighten up your space and make a cool little fun project for you use up some of that old yarn um i'll post my instagram in the description so if you want to tag me um in your scrappy yarn frame projects. I'd love to see them. Enjoy. Bye.